Hi everybody, I'm interviewing my mother, Michal Bener. Uh, so how was your childhood and where did you grow up and what was your connection to Israel? Okay, um, so I grew up in a Jewish family in the northeastern part of the United States and I was the fourth of six children uh, and my family was very Zionist and very Jewish. Israel was always discussed in my family, my parents volunteered in certain organizations to promote Judaism and Zionism. Went to Hebrew school, we learned, we learned um, the Hebrew, went to, to youth Jewish um, camps in the summer. How did you come to Israel? How was your adjustment in the beginning? In 1971, after I finished high school, I came for a year to Israel on a, a year-long program. Part of the year was in Jerusalem. Um, we lived on kibbutz for a while, on Moshav. We did a lot of traveling, our Hebrew improved, and we were very involved with Israeli life, and that's basically when Alan and I both decided that eventually we would come back and live in Israel. Jumping many years forward, um, how did you become a peace activist? Okay, so it was always part of my family upbringing. My, when I was raising my kids, I kind of put my activism on the side. Um, I was more involved in raising the family, and kind of being an earth mother, health, food, um, but I was pretty much in my own world. As my kids got older and I had more free time, I started to realize in the last few years particularly, after having all my five children serve in mandatory Israeli uh, army service, including my oldest son who was a, an officer, and strongly believing in the right of Israel to exist and to defend its borders and to be a sovereign country, I started to all of a sudden realize that um, we should not be in the West Bank, and that basically what we've done in the West Bank is um, occupation, and that we have no right to be there. And the word occupation, or as I just said in Hebrew, kibush, is a dirty word among um, a, a lot of Israelis cannot bring themselves to say that word. And it took me a while to be able to say that word. It, um, it was kind of a transformation. Uh, it was a long process. I learned from my children, definitely from Shira. Um, and basically, when the um, Women Wage Peace Movement started years, two years ago, I was involved uh, almost at the beginning. It was, and then we decided, first of all, that the, why are we a women's movement? That men are invited to join, but it, the women's way is a different way. The women's way is, is, is a way of discussion, of talking, of understanding, of, of speaking from the heart, where our country needs to be involved in a serious uh, process of um, looking for a solution that's not based on war. So years ago when we started the movement, it was before um, the last elections, we were 60 groups of women standing in various um, major intersections in the country. We are one group in the whole country that's still every Friday from 11 to 12.30 and rain, rain or sun. A march that included women that came from Palestine and Jewish women that came from all over the country and Arab women that came all from all over the country. Um, we were three generations. Shira joined me with her boys, and we were part of something 20,000 people. It's not just quality, that isn't it anymore, it has to be quantity, we have to get out there. Our government is not a government that leads, our government in this country now is a government that follows. And they need to hear that, that there are many, many women out there and men joining them who believe that there has to be a, a, a way to find a, um, a, a solution to the problem and not just another war every few years that is not the same. <laughs> Thank you.
下。